number eight. Number eight match eight. casted twenty or replayed twenty three hours ago. So this can obviously be a fairly recent match. Unlike apparently a lot of these Uber players, I mean this is just kind of basic mindset. Oh, failed to start replay. Well, that's insulting. Excuse me. Um, that's what I have as well. Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> Let's oh, it seems like Zyke wants us to catch his, though. <laughs> to, oh, okay. Uh, cast his, so there we go. We'll have to do Zyke's. We can't get into Alphas anyway. Uh. So I think we'll just assume that he won, uh, <laughs> and that his opponent is probably not that good. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, let's let's cast let's cast uh, Zyke then. Man, I'm going to have so many matches to edit when I'm done with this. Ugh. Ugh, God, it's so, it's so hard being popular, ain't it? <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> All alone. Nobody loved me. Oh, I love oh. you, Red. No homo. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All oh, right, look. so we're on Enki again. Again, oh, no. yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so you you explain to me, because well, I've, I've never really seen a lot of Zyke's matches. So how, how does Zyke play? And I don't know uh, Tim, so let's just assume he's just another generic silver. Well... <laughs> You kind of put me on the spot here because Zyke has been doing a lot of practice recently and everything that I used to know about him no longer applies. He's really sharpened himself up. So I'd expect a lot of um, a lot of shenanigans. Like, if he oh. doesn't... As, as we saw from Gandalf, Gandalf sort of anticipated his opponent. He was very relaxed, very calm. He just mm -hmm. like calmly brushed aside everything that his opponent tried to do to him. You know, and meanwhile... Sangu was just, he was all over the place. He had absolutely no hope in hell. And I'd expect something similar from Zyke. He's going to knock this guy out very, very quickly with some sort of devastating attack, or he's just going to calmly sort of brush everything aside. No problems whatsoever, and just flatten him. Mm -hmm. Okay, hang on. Well, I just got a, let me throw it in the chat. The Moombo Crew TeamSpeak server is officially live. So, holy crap, check that out. Sound resumed. I'll be damned. That's cool. I'll actually have to take a look at that just because the game box is uh, causing quite a few beeps. <laughs> Bit of a problem. Uh oh. All right. Well, let me uh, get back into the match because I know I haven't actually cast anything. Actually, I probably need to mute my sound so people don't hop in by blah, 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 and then like, can you not please? I'm busy. <laughs> That's fine. Right. The way this match is shaping up at the minute is we have sort of Psyche doing, you know, very, very strong opening star. Two, uh, two bot fabricators mm -hmm. building up his mechs with a combat fabricator coming out to claim the bees, which is something we say out of all of all of the good players is you go for that tree economy most of the time. Whereas Timmy, very questionably going for the air fab at first, you know, might be hoping to sort of sneakily ninja around the place. But I wouldn't expect this kind of crap to fly with Psyche, basically. Ooh. I would have thought that Psyche will shoot that down. Oh, calling him out. All right, well... Uh, the air factory is being built here by uh, Zyke, so I want to see the air factory. The uh, that one that is you, you've ever had that magical moment when you send one air fighter and it just flies over to your opponent's base. And you're like, oh, you opened air fabricators. Oh, you opened mass air fabricators. And then this fighter just flies around for a good six or seven minutes, just killing all of his fabricators. And then of course there's always the cherry on the top where they call you a cheater and a rusher. And it's just like, thank you for adding just the sodium to the end of that it just makes it makes it all worth it in the end yeah i do worry in a way that maybe um maybe tivanita is not necessarily pandering to these people a bit too much but you know the the only reason that i've ever heard for a lot of the pta changes from tivanita is that a lot of newer players don't like the rushing aspect of the game i think i mentioned this before and i'm mm -hmm. not sure that if it's just being based on that then it's the best way to go but regardless oh. back to the actual match we're seeing sort of like Timmy, you know, Timmy H doing very, very strange strats. Louis opened with a bot factory into where into another bot factory. He is actually not doing any aggression whatsoever. He hasn't even sent these things out of his base. He's kind mm -hmm. of clamming up and being very defensive. Whereas Zyke, you know, expanding beautifully, taking the strong central position, <laughs> taking these trees. It's this is gonna be a slaughter. This is horrific. I believe in the silver scrubs. I believe, man. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna root for him, but yeah, um, so far, the as as I called it out, sort of uh, the anti that one anti air fighter flew over to his two fabricators, and I think there was like two or three anti air fighters, but it was just they were gone. I mean, there was nothing that that uh, that fabricator saw. I mean, it was just missiles, and then he just moved on to the great uh, annihilator above, and there was nothing he could do to stop that. Yeah, I didn't even feel any need to comment on it because it's it may be a personal opinion of mine, but I think many Uber players possibly feel the same. Um, good ones, not like me at the bottom. But Ooh. air fabricators, especially as an opening, is mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's you, it's you really risky need. just to begin with. Yeah. I mean, not I mean not even calling it a good strategy. I mean, even if uh, just one air fighter. I mean, as we just saw it, once it gets shot down, what are you gonna do? Because you've lost air dominance. I mean, your opponent knows you're going mass air, so they're gonna mass anti air. Because I mean, that's just the logical counter to it. And then you just yeah. f you fall apart. <laughs> Well, I mean, we have Timmy H still sort of in this climbed up position, now already trying to expand him in naval, but he has flown some fighters over Zeki's base, which got shot down, seen what he was building, seen that he's investing quite heavily in the land. Mm -hmm. So he needs, he really needs to be making the decision between staying on the land or just trying to go full naval and giving it up completely. Um, and he seems think, to be trying to do both. Mm -hmm. I think that's what his problem was. Um, he was trying to open up both, but then as the game progressed and as his real, you know, player character self kind of showed, he didn't really know which way he wanted to go because after losing those fabricators, yep. he thought, oh, you know, he's probably, he might think Zyke might be even going mass air when at the, in all reality, it's really mass stocks with uh, actually some tanks rolling in now. So uh, a hmm. bit of a confrontation here, a lot of docks on Zyke's hand, some anti-air here though for uh, Timmy and... Well, that was definitely, that would have been a good trade for Zyke. I think he could have easily killed all, all, all of that off. I mean, that one bomber, maybe if it would have stayed alive during that trans, uh, that little transaction, could have done some serious damage. But we do see tanks finally rolling out, out here for Timmy. Yeah, so what we see is that Zyke has pretty much taken over the land already, even though his opponent doesn't know it yet. Uh, and, you know, in time he will just sort of roll all over the smash everything. Mm -hmm. And... Like we were saying before, Timmy H, it's it's really really deadly. You have to you have to choose one thing and commit to it. You can't think I'll try and do both because against a player like Psyche, or even you know just any sort of just any player, player, yeah. If they focus on yeah, if they focus on one thing, you focus on two. It's it's GG. You can't do that. Definitely, definitely. Um, it looks like though, Timmy, uh, he's he's building naval. I mean, he's definitely. I think his decision was he's gonna go naval. Um, I think he's going to try and turtle up on the base or on the island here. Maybe just try and keep his little a little foothold, but not a big one like uh, Zyke will soon to have. And uh, then mm. maybe try and go for the orbital, or not the orbital, but the uh, the, the little islands. Surprisingly enough, I haven't seen Zyke trying to capture some of these metal extractors. I think he might just assume that this is going to be a quick, easy kill. And I think he's definitely right. I mean, <laughs> at this point, it, it may not be the best habit to cultivate where you think, oh, I've won this game and now I'll slow mm -hmm. down. As long as you don't go as far as the Zankar, though. As, yeah, as long as you don't go as far as the Zankar. <laughs> yeah, troll Zankar. Definitely. But Timmy HR as well, having gone into the naval side of things, you know, building up the Narwhals, getting some air defense. Once those initial air fabricators were shot down, he never actually tried to build any more and mm -hmm. take any of this metal out of the back. So really, he's just kind of bleeding out by his own designs. Like, he continues to take more and more mechs, you know, to get stronger and stronger, and Timmy actually using more metal than he has now. His Ooh. efficiency dropping. And of course, once the efficient, efficiency drops, especially in a situation like this, I mean, I don't think it's going to come back up. Of course, as it hits 100, I just need to shut up. But um, a naval push here actually coming out from Timmy. Uh, Zyke's response, really, he doesn't really have one, but at the same time, I don't think he really needs one. He doesn't have a lot of his stuff. I mean, there's a couple energy factories. There are some metal extractors. There's a couple, you know, uh, there's actually a storage here, which might be really important. But, you know, there no. really isn't a whole lot that um, Zyke has near the island, or near the uh, the, the, the shore, holy cow. That uh, Yeah, and this is by design. Zyke actually responded to what Timmy was doing very, very early in the game. You see that single uh, fabricator building up energy. Mm -hmm. Notice how he's built that line of energy sort of behind the factory line, away from the shore, where right, Naval right. wouldn't really be able to do any significant damage to it. This is Zyke's response long ago. He kind of looked at what he was doing, said, all right, you do that, I'll do this and really is in a much stronger position. No matter how strong Timmy becomes on naval, until mm -hmm. he gets to tier 2, he's not really going to be able to do anything to the landmass. Until the Leviathan starts swimming, Zyke's yeah, good. Yeah, and that seems pretty unlikely. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've seen, I've seen SSX rushes before. They never worked, but I have seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it's good, but it happens. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, if you can pull it off you can, if, and you can get me a video replay of it working, then hey, I'll shut up. But till then, I'm going to keep saying it's not the best decision. <laughs> <laughs> but it is it is. I mean, I've done it before in moments of desperation. You just think like, SSX, why not? Yeah, and why not? It does, mm -hmm. it does occasionally happen. Like, your opponent just doesn't expect it. Looks like some docks, though, pushing in uh, into the effectively the heart of uh, Timmy's little defensive turtle spot on the island um his commander though is starting to build which some really energy. wasn't that heavily defended sorry which really wasn't that heavily oh. defended all along 
I'm calling it a turtle because there were walls, but that's really about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so sad to watch, isn't it? In a way, I mean, obviously, no disrespect to either of the players involved, mm -hmm. but you have like with what Timmy decided to do, he's just been completely overwhelmed since about the five minute mark where his plans have failed, his fabas have been shot from, and like he's bombers, just though. sort of slowly expanded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wiping out that rating. Oh course. my goodness, all of those docks. Five, lol. Actually, yeah, Zyke sent us the uh, the key and then, or the uh, lobby ID. That'd be really funny to see in SSX. I'd love to see it. <laughs> I mean, unless you actually have the patience for it, right? I mean, obviously, this is a co-casting deal, so... If you want to, if you want to put up with the SSX snipe, <laughs> depending on how BM it is. Yeah, I think we'll have to do it. Um, just because you know you've called out these SSX. I've in, called out the yeah, SSX. Sure okay. Like, All right. Yeah, you know Zankar, Killer Kiwi, Aiki, uh, Alpha. Any of these, <laughs> any of these guys could pretty much provide maybe a handful of replays. Oh well, of course. In the last few days. Well, I'm not saying it's you know like horrible, but I mean it's definitely like it's it's the uh, the road less traveled. I think that'd be a fair statement. Yeah, it's it's definitely not a strategy that you would um, expect. You would go into a game expecting to <laughs> you see. You would assume to see. <laughs> Got deep space. Oh, yeah. what's that? Oh, it's an SSX. Yeah, because you know when I was building this, seeing your orbital, I was thinking, oh, yeah, it's probably anchors. No, <laughs> dude's got an SSX waiting for you, man. So actually, around about like you know 10:45 here, where we are, where Timmy's naval actually reaches Zankar's base and gets to sort of freely pull. You can see, sorry, Zankar, Zaiki. Mm -hmm. You can see that Zaiki has already moved his stuff back. Like I was saying before, mm -hmm. I mean, what damage can he really do with his orcas? That's it. Zaiki can just afford to let him pummel whatever. Mm -hmm. he He's gonna care. lose his storage, but like you said, there's another one. Well, actually, no, there isn't another storage. So, ha! We found a. Oh no, it's not gonna die. Never mind. <laughs> it was all. It was all <laughs> planned. It was all planned. So the hardest problem that Zyke is going to face is how does he go and kill that commander? You know, with, uh, with no naval, <laughs> no orbital, mm -hmm. no nukes. Unit cannons? <laughs> so that's what I'm interested in. How is he going to get over there and do it? Is he going to bomb a snipe? I was going to say, yeah, we've got, some, we've got some bombers here, so I would assume that's probably what his next decision, decision is going to be, but, I mean, can he really do it? There's a lot of anti-air in this water, so it's going to be really hard for him to do that if he wants to. Yeah, I regret that we can't actually figure out exactly how many bombers are in this uh, clump. Ah, I wish there was Otherwise a bomber. We could probably counter. make a good guess. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Well, how much are you gonna guess? Uh, let's see. How many? This is five, six turrets plus the commander plus null walls. I would say that he probably needs around about a hundred and twenty. Um. Hmm. See, I was just going to take whatever you said and then double it, and then, I mean, if it didn't work, then I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> see? See, there you go. So he's going to need about 240. Um, I would probably, yeah, go around the estimates of 120 to 150. I mean, this is a lot of anti-air, and I mean, Timmy just, he's definitely paranoid about it. Um, but the bombers are going to move out, so we're going to see this. I mean, how many, do you, how, do you, how many do you think are in here? I mean, this is just kind of caster... Caster guessing. I would want to say maybe not 120. Not 100. This is about 50-ish. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say 30 to 45, but I mean, if you're gonna go 50, you're probably probably better than me at this. Um, so, I think actually what he's doing right now is he's just trying trying to uh, scout around and see if uh, Timmy might have any extra uh, hidden secret spots. But it looks like mm. uh, he might just try and go in on this, which ah, I don't know. That's the best decision. Well, I think the way that this game's going to end, given you know the time frame and the units mm -hmm. on, like actually in play, is my work. Timmy is going to GG. Uh, He's going to delete his commander. Oh, I don't want to see the deletion. I want to see snipes. <laughs> it could yet happen. I mean, he has moved his commander a little bit away from these turrets. Oh, um, uh, it's. This I think it. it's going to be the snipes. Well, it the yep, snipes. it is the snipes. So there, there we go. go completely wrong with 120. I mean, maybe <laughs> if he had been against all of those narwhals and all of the turrets. Confirmed filthy casual Possibly. casters. <laughs> yeah. Got we away with it. Easy peasy. There it is. He had 40. So we were right on how many he had, just not how many he needed. <laughs> yep. Well, roundabout. Clear we were playing on the safe estimates. I mean, it was we were clearly right because we weren't below it, but <laughs> a little.